you know, the important thing is to just never lose sight of your passion, right? If you're, um, it's never too late to get started on it. I guess just keep at it, you know, keep the passion alive. So I think last episode, I don't know how many people next time. Let's see. And then I know. So I know. Let's see. Let's see. So before we proceed to this video, we would first like to thank our friends from Orange and Brown Software Labs. Orange and Brown Software Labs is the first and only official VMware Spring Source partner in the Philippines. They are a Google Enterprise partner and trusted apps reseller. They also offer offshore product development, software consulting, and training services. If you want to learn more, you can check out their website at orangeandbronze.com or their Facebook page at Orange and Brown Software Labs. So our next question po is, so marami talagang komsay out there, diba? Na yung reason din nila bakit sila nag-komsay talaga is gusto nila mag-develop ng games. Yeah, so may dalawang question for this po, yeah. So, uh, the first one is, ano ba, if you're, diba, software engineer ka ngayon sa Unbroken Studios, so do you consider yourself as a game developer? Or is software engineering and game development different things? Or ano po ba? Like, Mag- magpares lang? Uh, I think at its core, games, um, or video games specifically, are still software. In shit, tanggalin mo lahat ng components niya, it's, it's still, you know, a, a computer program that's running on ones and zeros, mm-hmm. you know, on a machine. Now, kung pag-usapan natin analog games, in yun, yung ibang field na yun, hindi na siya software kasi, you know, we're talking about board games at that point, mm-hmm. you know, sports. But for video games, uh, it is first and foremost, Uh, a piece of software, so I wouldn't say that it's separate from software development. Um, it's just you know another branch of software development that mm-hmm. you can pursue. It's just another field, um, like you know people in the academe I think refer to it as entertainment computing. Um, um, is um, essentially applying you know computers for the purpose of entertainment. So you know I guess more. Academic term for it, uh, for it, um, but yeah, I, w- I wouldn't divorce the idea of game development from uh, software engineering because it's, it's primarily the same. Uh, okay. So, kaya naman yung next question ko is, so ayon yun diba? Like I mentioned, maraming gusto ng game development. Ano po ba yung skills na they should further improve on if they want to pursue a career sa game development? Yeah, that's a good question and something that. Can have a very broad answer, um, just because g- game development in and of itself has a lot of niches you can fill into. Within game development, there's other, there's multiple things you can pursue um, in terms of what you can do to contribute um, to the, you know, to the piece of software that is a game, right? Um, so, for example, if mas gusto mo na, you know, working on on gameplay like you know yung pag ng, ng combat for example or ng shooting mechanics baka gusto mo maging uh, gameplay engineer mm. um, what kind right um, so it's shooters um, you need to you know you need to brush up on your physics if it's something to do with simulation for example you need to figure out like how mechanics work because every game it has can have different you know mechanics in terms of like movement kung, Um, kung on foot ba, that's you know, may traditional uh, bipedal locomotion ka or kung vehicles halimbawa may vehicle simulation ka so how many wheels, right? Two, three, four um, those are all important questions that you need to find out and you know, brush up on you know, aircraft simulation naman din yung hinahabog mo so that's still a lot of physics to learn on uh, to pick up on and then on the other hand if you know, mas inclined ka to make pretty things, right? You may want to be a uh, You know, a graphics programmer, so um, you'll have to learn shaders. Uh, you know, OpenGL. I think we offer that in the um, 165, Comsai 165. Mm-hmm. That's the course. Yeah, computer graphics. Mm-hmm. Um, need to brush up on. Maybe you want to work on a uh, on a render as a side project. Um, para mas maintindihan mo how things are are rendered on on the monitor. You know, there's there's other like niches to fulfill within game development as well because it's a um, project that's worked on by a lot of people so you know for example there needs to be tools that um, designers can use and artists can use so they can create art and you know game design 
for your game and that may involve um, you know picking up a lot of Python mm, um, is, okay. is very useful for that and I think in terms of you know programming languages it depends on what game engine you want to use um, so C++ is a really popular one because it's the one that uses Unreal Engine um, and C Sharp is used by Unity which is the two most popular uh, game engines right now so I think it depends on what you want to do in a, you know, or what you want to do or how you want to contribute in a, the development of a game. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something that you may want to find out early on or by, by experimenting on like what part of a game you, you want to, you enjoy working on. Like, if um, you enjoy work on, on graphics, nga, you'll, you'll figure out how to a graphics programmer or um, a technical artist, which is, you know, a combination of uh, a programmer and an artist, basically. Um, and then if you like iterating on on gameplay, maybe you'll be a gameplay uh, programmer. Um, and that's just anything under the sun, basically depends on what kind of game you want. And then you can also just be a generalist, like, like myself. Um, that's oh, okay. basically how I function right now in that, you know, what does the team need right now? What does the the game need right now, um, you know, in the uh, if we fill your requirements and or find out how we can help. So that means just, you know, picking up anything that needs to be picked up. Like a little, I do a little bit of Python on the side, some C++ on the side, um, well, mainly C++ actually, and then just some C Sharp for my personal project then as well. Mm -hmm. So I guess in, in terms of, you know, adaptability and, you know, what you need as a game developer. There's there's way too many tools in the kit. Um, it's just a matter of finding out which, which one feels more natural to you. But I didn't realize that there's a lot of stuff that goes into developing a game. You uh, can think about it as, uh, parang, how do you make a movie, right? There's there's many things that yeah, go into uh, the making of a movie, right? Mm -hmm. ang, you know, in directorial work, merong yung camera work, mm -hmm. may sound, um, editing, uh, may lighting. Like yeah. You, you can think that each piece of that would require some form of engineering or another, mm -hmm. right? Like the director needs to, be, to have tools na para ma direct niyong yung game mo. So that means you know somebody needs to engineer those tools. The camera, you know, is is a tool basically that somebody needs to engineer that. Um, you know, the script um, and the dialogue uh, needs to have a tool in order to be delivered in, into the game. Um, and then lighting, you know, is, is another, you know, it's a very physics heavy mm -hmm. and simulation heavy aspect of, of, of the game that, you know, you're literally simulating, you know, how light bounces in, in a 3D environment that requires a lot of engineering. Um, so yeah, there's many things. <laughs> so basically, I just thought that, no, na, because sometimes when you po about game development, parang I always thought, Ah, magaling dapat ako sa mat, ganun. Or dapat magaling ako mag-drawing. So, actually, ayun nga, like what Kuya said, so it depends talaga on what you're going to focus on. So, ayun guys, uh, yeah. So, ang daming pwede pala maging focus if you're going into game development. So, I suggest, ayun, na mag-research mag na kayo as early as now on what you want to be a part of. Ayun, para mas focus yung ano nyo, yung pag-aaral nyo or pagpa-practice, pag diba? So, ayun ko ya, our last question. Sobrang comfortable na, na nung, ano, parang di na nga interview eh. <laughs> ano na lang eh. Mas okay, diba? Oo nga po eh. Ayun. So, our last question for this interview is message nyo for everyone out there who wants to work in game development. If you can't find work, uh, in games in a professional capacity, just start working on your own personal projects. Like um, I think now is the best time to be an indie developer in that you know, so brand daming tools na available mm -hmm. out there. Um, it makes it so much easier to self-publish as well. And it, it all just boils down to, you know, I had enough free time to work on it. <laughs> um, but that's a different problem. You know, the important thing is to just never lose sight of your passion, right? If you're really passionate. Um, working on games, um, it's never too late to get started on it. I know some programmers who, you know, have, 
I've been working in software engineering, uh, in software development for like decades, and then suddenly just you know move into uh, game development later in their career, and that's that's something that's totally possible, right? Kailangan mo lang na ipasa yung you know technical interviews and you know make sure you have the know-how, and it's it's something that you can still do. Um, I guess just keep at it, you know, keep the passion alive. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, so that's all of the questions, Kuya. Now we've prepared for you. Yeah, first of all, thank you so much, Kuya Brian, for this course, time, for your time. Me. And sobrang eh, basa every person I've met through these interviews, lahat sila ng sinasabi iba-iba. Lahat ng advice nila, they're all different. So parang wala lang, parang it, it's so nice to learn from these people, diba? And parang nagkakaroon na rin talaga ako ng idea about what I wanna do. Diba? Kasi ito naman talaga yung objective ng uh, video series na ito. Like, have an idea about what you want to pursue in the future. Kasi marami talaga dyan na computer science students or even graduates, diba? Parang still unsure about what they want to yeah, pursue, basically. So, ito yung last episode ng Career Paths for this sim. I don't know kung meron pa next sim. Let's see. Ito <laughs> yung na lang natin. <laughs> Sana. Let's see, let's see. Uh, ayun, thank you for staying with us throughout our releases. So, I says, yeah, for watching these videos. Uh, I hope nakatulong talaga sa inyo kahit pa paano have to have an idea about what you want then to pursue in the future. Kung gusto niyo rin maging like Kuya Brian, working in game development, si Kuya or si Kuya Neil, diba? Maging software engineer. Or si Ate Ara, sa security space. Kuya Jerome, assistant vice president. Grabe, can you imagine? <laughs> Ibang level na. <laughs> diba? Or Kuya Jerome, big time na. Sobrang big time na ni Kuya Jerome. Ayan. Or si Kuya said, high school teacher, diba? Like, touching these kids' lives. Or si Kuya Cholo, na software engineer. I hope these people na we've interviewed uh, have served as an inspiration to all of you watching this video. Yeah, sobrang grateful ako for this opportunity. Thank you to ISIS. Thank you sa lahat ng alumni na nag-participate. Thank you to everyone supporting us. Thank you sa lahat ng nag-edit, tumutulong sa pag-edit ng video series. Yeah. <laughs> And that there's so much work that goes into these videos that you guys don't see. Yeah, so I'm super <laughs> grateful, super grateful for everyone na involved. Ayon, alam niyo na yon, guys. Thank you, Vices. Sobrang grateful ako to have been part of this organization. Once no bas yung project ni Kuya Brian. Ayon, kung ano man yung what, whatever he's working on, sa unbroken or sa personal ano niya, I hope na we can support him and ako. I would support that most definitely. Kahit MacBook yung laptop ko, hindi ko naman malaro. <laughs> pero let's see. Gagawin natin ng paraan. <laughs> Ayan, natin yan. That. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much. I hope you guys can support us. And if you have any more inquiries, you can also email us at um, info at vices.org. You can also visit our website vices.org. So thank you so much for your support for watching this video. And we hope to see you soon ayun, in another video release. Very soon. So thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.